There was a crucial battle in several key state Senate races. And the fight is among Democrats. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with that. Dick. Risa Christine, in some ways, the Democratic state Senate primaries have become a kind of proxy fight between Mayor Adams and his moderate wing of the party and those supported by the left wing. And it has to do still with the fight over bail reform. The battle lines are drawn as Democrats fight for the soul of their party. Incumbents like Manhattan State Senator Robert Jackson facing off against challenger Angel Vasquez in a newly redrawn district. The Bronx's progressive state senator Gustavo Rivera facing a fight from Miguelina Camilo, who's backed by Mayor Adams. In Brooklyn, the leftist incumbent Jabari Brisport going head to head with the Reverend Conrad Tillard, also endorsed by the mayor. And in an open seat in Queens, Adams tapped the moderate former city councilwoman Elizabeth Crowley in her race against Kristen Gonzalez, who has the support of the Democratic Socialists. The battle in the Democratic Party is between the center, the moderates, frankly, and the left, the progressives. Who will turn out a vote and who can win those races? Can the progressives put the, put the, put the forces together on the ground to turn out a vote is the great test today. And there is a test for Mayor Adams. He hopes his support of moderate candidates will send a signal to Albany and Governor Hochul. The mayor's problem, he's got to win if he wants to get bail reform done and if he wants the help in Albany he needs and the respect he requires. If he doesn't get the respect from the Albany politicians by beating them, well, he's going to have real problems going forward. But how can any candidates turn out the vote in the third week in August when many are checked out or even out of town? Voting is ritualistic. It's behavioral. It's constant. It's kind of a thing you do at a particular time on a particular day. When you move it to the third week in August, at the Tuesday, when no one votes, only the most likely voters who have who participate as part of their religion will turn out and everybody else gets lost. What about endorsements? Do they matter? Well, we'll find out. The mayor did have some success with the candidates he endorsed in the first round of primaries a few months ago. Christine. Thank you, Dick. We're also closely following the race in the newly redrawn Congressional District 17, which includes parts of Westchester and Hudson Valley. Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, the chair of the House Democratic campaign, is facing off against progressive state senator Alessandra Biaggi.